The white striped RSI Mantis engages its quantum interdiction engine in the hopes of attracting a mate. Hopefully space ovulating with a ripe cargo hold filled with valuable commodities. Sadly, this beautiful act of space life may already be facing extinction. Drastic changes in the master mode Modicus Climaticus is pushing the populations of these once majestic mantises and cutlass blues further towards serious endangerment. And in the coming months, the wonderful dance of quantum interdiction, snaring and entanglement might come to a tragic and abrupt end. We started off 2024 on the heels of CitizenCon, and to put things mildly, shit's been f***ing hype. But why? Because this year's going to be different, but for real this time. <laughs> He's still alive, isn't he? Well, here we are, ludicrous space ladies and ludicrous space gentlemen. We're on the road to 3.23's release, and like most of the roads I drive on, it's looking like there are going to be a few potholes on the way. Don't get me wrong, 3.23 is looking like an exciting feature-packed patch that I am as excited for as the next desperate Star Citizen content creator. Server meshing is actively being tested on Evocati, which is monumental progress, and we even heard from Chrissy Roberticus himself in a letter from the chairman. In general, I get the sense that players are genuinely hopeful and optimistic for what's in store for the rest of the year. But as of the time of recording this video, the intended design for quantum interdiction and snaring gameplay might not make it for 3.23. Can you explain in detail how quantum dampeners and quantum snares will work on ships in nav mode? Not yet. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, the thing is like the... Um, the um, obviously like quantum quantum dampening and snaring and in general keeping or trapping players within the SEM speed is uh, something that makes uh, or has a big uh, impact on on combat itself. But the thing is, we don't have not specifically implemented that part yet. It's on the to do list for uh, for three to three. Whether we're going to make it for three to three or not, we don't know yet because there's a couple of things we still need, need to iron out. For example. Do we simply say you cannot you cannot boost away? Do we need to take the size of the ship that wants to uh, escape into account? Do we just change the spool timers? These are all just small details which we haven't uh, haven't tried out and t uh, internally tested yet. Um, I mean, this also leads to the question that at three to three is is like not not the full experience for master modes, right? It's just the first step. There there will be stuff missing. Um, the ships will not be as varied as we would like them to have later. So this will be like we will build on that work but exactly if quantum dampening and uh, etc will be there in uh, on day one when master mode releases i do not know yet it depends how well, the uh, normal work progress continues in the next few weeks. We'll see. What this means for what we actually get in 3.23 is up to speculation at this point, and this obviously impacts the noble occupation of piracy and the totally lame occupation of bounty hunting. There's no concrete information on exactly how mantises and cutty blues will work in a master modes world. When in navigation mode, it's likely that their QED drives will not be engageable, and thus any target you're trying to catch will simply outrun you whilst they're in their navigation mode. Perhaps QED enabled ships could utilize their drives while in nav mode so that they can keep up with other ships, but then this feels counterintuitive to how master modes as a feature is supposed to work in the first place. And even if they could break the nav mode rule so to speak, there's no way to engage in combat since you and the snared vessel would both be in navigation mode and unable to fire weapons on one another. Thanks to Agent Zletti of Mongrel Squadron, we have a very detailed post that accurately paints a picture of the current situation. If QED has a gameplay feature interests you at all, definitely go give it a read, link down below. Now I'm all for new game systems and features coming in and shaking things up. Oh f me, holy sh Hey man, what's going on? We know that Star Citizen development is ever ongoing and the game will change in big ways as time goes on. This is a good thing. The game needs to evolve and become more of a game at every step possible. But at the same time, it feels like the potential loss of QED as a working as intended feature is a massive subtraction from the game instead of a massive addition, which is what exciting big new patches are all about. Big additions. 
Quantum interdiction and snaring is a core feature for piracy, which I maintain is one of the few actual fun gameplay loops that Star Citizen has to offer players in its current state. And critically, piracy itself is dependent on just about every other game system. Things like trading, hoarding, combat, physicalized cargo logistics, boarding, FPS combat, to loading and selling needs to work in order for piracy to even be a valid way to play the game. And that's one of the reasons why it's so great. It literally touches everything Star Citizen has to offer in some way. Not to mention the various pirate communities out there that are some of the most dedicated and genuinely wholesome players to grace the Star Citizen community. These guys play the shit out of this game and most importantly are actually capable of treating it as a game with a goal. That goal is usually your cargo and the pursuit of your cargo is what creates the fun, believe it or not, for both the pirates and the victims of the piracy. Check out this video after this one, link in the description and you will realize what I'm talking about. I went to and got some statements from average ludicrous space game enjoyers on the potential lack of QED coming our way from people who actually play the game and not random Groundhog Day Space Bob store citizen enjoyers whose idea of a good time in game is loading up an Origin Junkworks 890 junk into a hangar on Orison, taking a stroll through the corridors and calling it a day after they tripped down a flight of stairs because that was just too dramatic for their sensibilities. CIG needs to clarify what, if any, placeholder QED behavior would exist in 3.23. A complete lack of QED means that bounty hunting and piracy are severely impacted until it gets adjusted for the new quantum experience post 3.23. Our victims may experience an unpleasant shift in our tactics for the foreseeable future. Nerves are. Piracy is dead, thanks CIG. Murder hobo engaged, NR streak. Did you know that one in five Canadians suffer from illegal pirate activity in online video games. Now, with the Trudeau government, we've removed QEDs so that you can enjoy your experience and be safe. A message from the government of Canada and Avenger 1. 3.22, the piracy patch. 3.23, the non-piracy patch. Surf him. Look, master modes, but no modes are actually mastered and the Mantis is no longer for sale. Just kidding, you can still buy it, but can't use it. Fluffy catfish. Fix the game. I'm not a huge PvP person, but if CIG want people to board ships and capture the bounties and carbonite and all this other stuff, they need to have a plan and not kick the tin can down the road. We will fix what we broke later. PC 101. My worry is that piracy has already turned into an arms race where soft death is the easiest answer. Without reliable QED mechanics and viable distortion mechanics, there's very little choices left for pirates other than to turn red. I'd hate for QED to be an afterthought in master modes. It's not fair. As you know, all good ships have a name. However, in 3.23, the Mantis is useless, so it does not get a name. Mr. Modify. CIG just have a bit of consideration for the long-term players that have put in over 20,000 hours into your game. That's all they're asking for, sad face. Good speed O. Mantis, more like man to sucks, XNDR. QED was one of the best working features in years. It and the ability to prevent jumps in other ways is one of the most influential parts of the current and future combat metas. The fact that CIG shows that they have basically put zero work into figuring this out for the newest flight model that they have been developing for over one and a half years now makes me lose faith in this project. We have asked this question for half a year now and they still don't deem it worthy enough to start iterating over this. Once again, CIG has taken a feature that works most of the time and turned it into a feature that is a tier negative one iteration and works worse than before. Nona Nelson. Does this mean the end of pirate gameplay? Hell no, let's go to those Amazon distro cargo centers and find some prizes. The Space Shaman. With 3.23, all attempts to stop a ship from escaping boils down to a DPS check to see if you can destroy the other ship before travel mode kicks in. Moon Moon. When I die, I'm going to ask Chris Roberts to be at my funeral and lower my casket in the ground so he can let me down one last time. Tony Fresh 52. We just have to chill and relax. It's not the end of the world if it's nerfed for a patch or two. We know they will fix it, etc. The world isn't ending. If you're a sole pirating only player, it might be a good patch to just take a break and go play another game. Again, not a big deal in the grand scheme of things until it's in and tested or not. Whatever. Any videos are really just clickbait speculation, which is 90% of YouTube anyhow. Loots. Wait, what the f- But Void Dude, what's your statement? I cannot hear you, Mona Lisa. <laughs> Ginger Samurai. Nice kill, bro.
Handsome viewers, on one hand, after 10 years of development, it's unacceptable that a feature this important to so many players might not be feasible for an entire patch cycle. But on the other hand, if this is a necessary sacrifice for progress in the Persistent Universe, then so be it. Players will adapt and we will overcome like Space Bear Grills. And who knows, if QED in 3.23 is completely unfeasible, we will find even more exciting and fun ways to engage in epic space adventures. Star Citizen 3.23 is going to be incredibly exciting regardless of the state of QED. Logging into the game and experiencing a brand new chonky patch is some of the best times I've ever had in gaming. At the end of the day, this is just part of the process. I've said often and loudly on my streams and in my Discord that it's not sad that Star Citizen has been in development for over 10 years and that the road has been so rocky. It's sad that there aren't 10 other projects we as gamers get to look forward to that share the same industry-shattering ambitions that Star Citizen strives to accomplish. Thank you channel patrons and channel members for all your support. Your incredible generosity continues to blow me away. Thinking of pledging to this ludicrous space game, then use one of the referral codes on screen now for a free 5,000 starting credits. If you enjoy my content and are interested in supporting the channel beyond a like and a subscribe, check the links in the description. Consider the join button below and follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash voidude. Your continued support genuinely helps me to continue producing these videos. Also, oh my god, did you know that Voidyvids has a second channel? That's right, Voidyvods, the incredible YouTube channel where I upload all my stream VODs in a timeless and reliable manner. If that tickles your pickle, go to Voidy VODs and give the subscribe button a wet willy or something. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you around the verse. Cheers. It wasn't me.